All right, Jim Rooney, Black Boat Broker Team coming at you with another Real Talk Thursday. This is Hazard Insurance 3.0. Who thought we would need three? But we do. Um, and part of it's my fault, I gotta clarify a few things. So on the first one, I talked about how you probably wouldn't get your full cost. It's not exactly true. I need to clarify that, right? If you have to rebuild your house, it's been destroyed in a fire, for example. That's the example we used. Uh, you will get your entire rebuild cost, whatever that is, as long as it actually is worth that much. Now in this current market, it will be for sure. The issue again, to clarify, is if your house it will cost significantly more than that to rebuild, you may very well not get that much. Right, you maybe not be insured for that much effect. You almost for sure are not, that's the point. So it's not that you'll get some amount less than your value. If you can prove that that value is there, you'll get the full value of your structure, uh, the dwelling, right? You'll get the full value of the dwelling amount, but that may not be enough. In fact, it likely won't. Also in the video, right, a different point that we're gonna kind of come back to, we talked about the belongings, right? Videoing your belongings, having records of your belongings. If you own seven pairs of shoes and you wanna get reimbursed for seven pairs of shoes, you need to prove you have seven pairs of shoes. And it doesn't matter if those shoes came from the secondhand store, they were brand new, whatever. If you have seven pairs of shoes, there's an algorithm, you get that much money. But you have to prove it. Right? The thing that's really interesting, it does not include your cars. Right? So if your, your cars are insured on a separate policy from your house, so if your cars are in your garage and it all burns up and your cars burn up, your homeowner's insurance does not cover your cars. It only covers your house. Right? So your cars, if you have liability, you won't get those replaced. That's kind of a big deal for a lot of folks. Like a lot of us have cars that are worth, you know, enough money to probably not insure with full coverage. If you don't have full coverage and you only have liability, your house burns down and your cars are in your garage, you don't get a new car. You don't get a car at all. You don't get any money. You just have to buy a car with your own money. I heard a, a bad story of someone having like five cars that were all not that great, but decent, and they all burned up in the fire, and now they have to figure out how to replace five cars for their many children that drive. That's a bummer. Use of loss. Use of loss is when you have a, a value for, you cannot live in your property, you cannot use your property, um, but if you have, it could even include some of your rents, but if you have tenants, it doesn't include their place to live. If, they, if you wanna keep them to move back in, you would have to pay out of pocket for the money to have them in a hotel or somewhere to live. So it doesn't include tenants' place to live, but it would include your place to live. And it could, depending on your policy, include the cost of the money you're losing because you don't have tenants paying you money. And so that one's a little bit out there. I wanna clarify a tiny bit on that one. Uh, we hit on personal liability, but I want to clarify a little bit on that. Um, I thought that the number one reason that people pay out on liability is dogs. Uh, that is one of them, but it's actually just people getting injured on your property. So if someone gets injured on your property, they slip on your stairs, they break their leg, uh, they have a big hospital bill. Um, that is covered through your liability insurance, your hazard insurance on your house. Um, but it, dogs and then you should probably check many dogs are not covered uh, because your insurance just doesn't cover certain dogs I mean, I hate to say it but pit bulls and dobermans and stuff like that are kind of the big uh, big ones but uh i was told once upon a time that the number one dog uh bite dog that bites people is poodles who would have thought but maybe they're encountering all the poodle offshoots right now additional replacement at the bottom of your policy you probably have a line item for additional replacement costs and it probably says 10, 15, 25%. It probably says 25, 25%. That means, uh, let's say your house is insured for 500,000 and you have 25%, right? So you get 25% of that extra value to rebuild if you needed it, right? $125,000 extra to rebuild. That one, everyone thinks, is the one that's gonna cover them. That still depends on the value of your, of your build. If you're only insured for 500 and your house is worth a million, you're still coming up short, right? You're only hitting six and a quarter. And that could actually be true. So with that, we're actually making recommendations. A lot of insurance agents that are of good quality are recommending you actually insure for now 
50% more additional value. So that is usually gonna get you to the number. When you add in the house, the additional value, and the value of the land, that's probably gonna cover or get awfully close to covering the actual value of your house. So if you get additional value and that is only a small amount, it's not gonna be enough these days, especially if you're underinsured to start with. So check on all those things with your insurance person, call us up, we'll figure out how to help you with that if you need and make sure that you are covering the value of what we could actually sell your house for today in this market. If you have questions, concerns, or anything to do with insurance or anything else real estate related, please reach out to us. We are here to help. This is all we do. This is like my whole life practically is like chasing my kids around at their events and doing real estate stuff. We're hiring more people, we're adding to our team. If you like what you see, hit the like button, hit that subscribe, hit the notifications, make a comment. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. I am always looking for education and wanting to learn things. We appreciate all of you that do view our videos. Feel free to share this with people. This is so important. These last three videos are maybe the most important things we've done in quite a while. Share them with your friends. You're more than ha we're more than happy to help them too. Uh, they don't have to be a client of ours. We don't care. We want to help the local community. That's why we're here. It's one of our biggest things. So subscribe, like, let us help everybody. We're never too busy for you, and we'll catch you on the next one.